So first course on the list is Silith on Solway in Cumbria. It's been voted one of the best golf courses. It might even be the best golf course for value for money in England. And I mean, it is absolutely amazing. A proper Lynx course right on the coastline there. Um, the only downside is it is 40 minutes from anything of you know worth going to uh, and being but once you're there it is absolutely beautiful and it's about an hour from the lake district so if you're playing courses in the lake district or you're staying in the lake district it is like well worth a journey over to Silicon Solway. I've tugged it left. It's actually going to roll back down off that slope and probably be all right. I love courses like this when you turn up and it's not intimidating, just a nice modest clubhouse, real members sort of vibe to it. Um, nice historic clubhouse, but really well kept. And you, t you turn up and you can see down the first fairway, there's these bold, juned sides to it and just disappears off out into the dunes, just sort of luring you into the, the course or you know what you're about to play. Oh, it's right at it though, that. Come on. Oh, nice bounce. Go on, keep going. Oh, rolled it miles past. Only just. The actual town of Silith has got this real nice feel to it. It's all cobbled streets and all the houses and restaurants and hotels have all got these different colours to them. Uh, a really quaint feel. It's nice. So the actual golf course was laid out in 1892 as part of a development of the actual town. Um, it's an Alistair Mackenzie and Willie Park Jr. design. And uh, like I mentioned, there's just all forever just undulating blind shots into greens. And I mean, as a first time having never played the course, it, I didn't have a clue where I was going half the time. There's posts and stuff, but I mean, it gives you a rough yardage, it gives you a good idea, but as soon when you get over those hills, you, you've no idea what you're looking for. So it's one of them courses where, once you've played it a couple of times, you know where you're going, that's when you probably really actually enjoy it again. But not to say I didn't enjoy it the first time, but I think once you know where you're going, it's, it makes it a little bit more easier. As far as golf courses go, and as far as value for money goes, if you like Lynx golf, you want to be going and just just put it on your list and just just make the journey and just go there. Like I think we paid thirty five pounds midweek. Like it's just seriously cheap, seriously good value for money. And like I said, the course is in absolutely great condition. Even in, I mean, it, this was shot towards the end of winter. And you can see that it's still immaculate. Uh, everywhere else you'd be playing off fairway mats, but we were playing straight off the off the fairway. The greens were immaculate. A couple of GUR bunkers, but I mean, where doesn't have that sort of thing at that time of year? The 18th is a bit of a hairy hole coming back in. You you play and there's uh, there's houses, there's a road, a bit like St Andrews, right on the on the right hand side of the fairway. There's houses literally right there so i think the pro in the shop actually said to us before we went out he was like look uh, if you're not playing too well or if you're slicing your drives you know you need to uh maybe just just take a take it easy and have a bit of a rain check on the 18th they must have had some some windows smashed i think at some point <laughs> 